Today we're going to be doing part two of the Savannah Super Guide. In today's guide, we're going to be covering these five species. Warthogs, Lesser Kudu, Springbok, Side Stripe Jackal, and Scrub Hare. Now today's video will be broken down into chapters, so if you guys are looking for one species, you can just simply go to that chapter and reference what you're looking for. So for today's guide, we are going to start out with Warthogs. Now Warthogs go to level 5. I have never seen a level 4 make diamond, but it definitely could be possible. Now my favorite weapon to use when I am hunting Warthogs is the 308, but you can use any 4 to 8 class rifle. You can use the 30 on 6, the M1, 303, the 7 mil, any 4 to 8 will do just fine. This is the 308. Two fours, let's take them both. Beautiful! All right. Oh, and there's another level four. Very sweet. So since the February 22nd update, guys, Savannah has changed quite a lot and warthogs have changed right along with them. You will now find a lot of warthog zones along the edge of the map. There's warthog right there. Not every zone will be warthog, but you will find quite a lot of them around the edge of the entire map, but you won't find any on the west side. Now, sometimes the zones just like this one can be tucked in away from the edge into the trees. So be aware of that. Now I actually knew there was gonna be a big boy in here because I picked up the max weight track and I was hoping it was gonna be a level five, but this is what it is and that is a sweet one. This is a red brown 54.8 and 58.2 is what you're looking for when you are looking for a diamond warthog. Warthogs are a class four species and red brown is actually one of their common variations. They also come in gray and dark as far as commons go. And if you are looking for a rare, they come in red and albino. Those are their two rare variations. And so they're gonna pay about $1,000 each and 49.3. Here's hoping for some really nice respawns from those two big boys. Now, warthogs now drink in Savannah from 15 until 18 or 1830. So that is new, that has definitely changed. Okay guys, so we are now at this lake right at the bottom middle of the map and there are warthogs here. Now, if you are looking for a max weight track for warthogs, their max weight track is actually 150 kilograms or 331 pounds. That is definitely a track worth tracking. Now, there is only one collar that you can use for warthogs and that is the wild boar collar. Not the nicest sound, but it definitely definitely does the trick and they are traveling most of them anyway let's grab that level four we could use a respawn so warthogs never used to drink all around the edge of the map but since the update guys you're gonna find all kinds of lesser kudu warthogs and cape buffalo all around the edges of the map except for the west side you'll find intermittent zones not every zone will be all of those three species but you will find quite a lot of them right around the borders of the map. And that guy is a gray 51.1 and that's another pretty nice warthog. So that's where we are right there. And that's a great spot to drop a tent. This is actually a pretty great lake. And we also have Cape Buffalo drinking here as well. So since the last update guys, warthogs are gonna be found predominantly around the edges of the map. There are a few lakes at the very bottom here, you will find them, but the best spot is around the perimeter of the map, everywhere except for the west side. The next species for today's guide is Lesser Kudu. Now Kudu do have a new drink time in Savannah and they now drink from 1800 until 21 or 2130. So you are going to need those night vision binoculars once again to hunt lesser kudu. They love to drink around the perimeter of the map, just like warthogs and Cape Buffalo. There are a lot of them around the edge, but they are at some of the lakes as well. Now, kudu are a class four species. And as such, you can use any class four to eight rifle when you're hunting them. You can use the 308. You can use the 30 odd 6, the M1, the 303, the 7 mil, any 4 to 8 will do just fine. You can even use the Rhino 454 as much as it seems overpowered, you will get integrity with it. Now, Kudu go to level 5. I have never seen a level 4 make diamond, but it probably is possible, just not nearly as likely. Now, there are two collars that will work for lesser Kudu, which include the Antler Rattler and the Snort Wheeze collar. Now, if you are looking for a max weight track for Kudu, their max Max weight is 105 kilograms or 231 pounds. And splat. All right, there he is. 
So if you are looking for a diamond, diamond trophy rating for Lesser Kudu is 151.6. That is what you're looking for. And it is definitely not easy to find a level five. That is for sure. So this is where we are, right at the top of the coast. And we have been shooting a few Kudu. So since the last update, guys, you will find most of the drink zones for Lesser Kudu around the edge of the map. There are still a few lakes that will have drinking Kudu, but the coast is where you want to look for most of the drink zones. And all of the maps in today's video, guys, will be posted to my Discord, and I will leave the link below the video. The next species for today's guide is Sidestripe Jackals. Now, since the update, guys, Sidestripe Jackals no longer have a drink time, so you have to hunt them either in their feed zones or their rest zones. And they are intermittently spread pretty much across the map. They're pretty much all over the place. So discovering those need zones is very important. Now jackals go to level nine. Ooh, he's, oh, I got a bad wind. Hold on here, we need to make him dead. This is the Zarza 223. Oh, he's alert. Let's see if we can get him. I don't, yep, we did get him, sweet. Now jackals are only a class two species and splat. So there are not a lot of weapons you can use with them. The Zarza 223 is absolutely fantastic for jackals because they are such tiny creatures. It's not great on some of the bigger species, but it is great for jackals. You can also use with jackals the 223, the 243. You can use the 3030 if you wish, and there are not a lot of other rifles you can use. You can also use the Kalman, but the Kalman does not get a lot of range. So my favorite is the Zarza 223 for jackals. So this guy is a gray. Their other common fur variations include light brown and gray brown, and they only come in two rare variations, which are melanistic and albino both of which are considered to be very rare with a less than 0.1% spawn rate. So not easy to find. So that was a pretty nice shot. We will take it. So right here, guys, we do have a jackal feed zone. And this zone in particular is from 3 till 6 or 6.30. But they actually feed all the way from 1800 till 6 or 6.30. But that will include several different feed zone times. And they actually feed all through the night and they stop at 6 a.m. So if you want to hunt them during daylight, you have to get up very early in the morning and you only have a little bit of time. Otherwise, you really have to hunt them in the rest time, which is from 6 all the way till 18 or 18.30. And again, that will cover three different rest zone times during that time period. Okay guys, so we just got a warning call from a jackal. There is only one caller for jackals and that is the predator jackrabbit caller. Let's get my dog to sit. I'm gonna grab a tree and hide here. See if we can get some to come in. Now we do have a rest zone here from six until 10. Now tracking is a really great way to find yourself a diamond jackal. And if you are looking for that max weight track, their max weight track is 14 kilograms or 31 pounds. Okay, we do have a level five here. Beautiful. So the collar, as you can see guys, works pretty awesome. And we got him. And that was a beautiful double lung shot. And if you are looking for a diamond, their diamond trophy rating is 29.1. It is not easy to find a diamond side stripe jackal, especially now that they don't drink in Savannah anymore. It just got a lot tougher. So this is where we are right here. And that is a rest zone. And there's a feed zone down there. So all through in here, you're going to find intermittently springbok and jackals. And the zones kind of go northeast. Another awesome spot for jackals is up in this area, going both ways on the path, starting here. <laughs> and I'm not really sure how to pronounce that outpost, but this is a great spot as well. So here guys are some of the main spots where I have found a lot of rest and feed zones for jackals. It isn't gonna be the only place you will find them on the map, but these are some of the great spots where you will find them. The next species for today's guide is Springbok. Now, Springbok are a class three species, so there aren't a huge array of weapons you can use on them. I am using the Zarza 223 on them right now, and it does the job, but it isn't great. The 243 is probably one of the best weapons to use on them still in the game, but you can also use the 223. You can use the 3030, and if you are bow hunting, you're gonna use 420 green arrows. 
And then of course there is the Solikin, which is also a class three to seven rifle, and it is a really good one. Now Springbok go to level five. I would imagine they can go diamond at level four, just not very often. Now, since the last update guys, Springbok do not have a drink time anymore, so you do have to hunt them in their feed and rest zones. And that makes them a lot tougher than they used to be, but I actually have just a pile of Springbok feed zones. If you start out here at Nizuti Hollow Outpost and you actually go northeast, look at all these zones. Most of these are Springbok zones. And what time I would start would be 5.30 in the morning. They go till about 8 o'clock. Couldn't quite see the second one there, but hopefully that did the job. Yes. So this feed zone that we are hunting right now is 4.30 until 8.30, but they do actually feed all the way from four until 1400. That'll include several different feed zone times. And there is our level three. So that did a great job, double lung there, only 62 meter shot, and that is actually a gold. Now, if you are looking for a diamond, 110.7 is the trophy rating that you are looking for. And that is more than likely going to be in a level 5 Springbok. Now this guy is a tan, which is a common variation. They also come in orange and black brown for their common furs. And actually, Springbok only have one rare, and that is albino, which is very rare with a less than 0.1% spawn rate. That's their only rare. And we did catch a lung there, so we did take down two of them. So that is sweet. Now, max weight for Springbok is 42 kilograms or 93 pounds. That's what you're looking for if you are gonna track down a potential diamond Springbok. So they actually also feed from 1800 until 2100. So they do have lots of different feed times. Okay guys, so I have circled on the map some definite areas where you will find a lot of feed zones for Springbok. Now, this oval here in the bottom, basic bottom middle, that is my favorite spot. That is where I found probably about 25 feed zones. Our last species for today's guide is scrub hare, and scrub hare are another species that has lost their drink time. So you do have to hunt them in the rest and feed zone times. Now, I don't think that's really a big deal because they used to drink at night, which wasn't the best, and it was impossible to see them. So I actually never hunted them at night while they were drinking anyway. Now, if you are looking for a diamond scrub hair, only females can make diamond. So you are looking for a level three, but level twos can make it just not nearly as often, but you are looking for a female. Now, they are a class one species, so the best weapons to use for scrub hair include the Zarza 22, the Virant 22, any shotgun with birdshot, and you can use the Coleman. Scrub hair actually rests from 10 until 1800, so rest zones are what you are looking for most of the time during the day. Got them both, beautiful, and what was that? There's a bigger one, of course. They can be very hard to see out here in the grass and there is no collars for scrub hair. So there we go. There is the first one, 2.8. So if you're looking for a diamond, 5.3 is their diamond trophy rating. And if you do want to track them down, 5.8 kilograms or 12.8 pounds is their max weight track. And here is our other one. So you don't need a vital with anything that is class one. You just need to shoot them with the correct ammo. So you can track them by simply highlighting their droppings. There you go, so yeah, it does track on the hunter mate. You can't actually track down any rabbits by tracking their droppings. So the two common fur types for scrub hair are chestnut and brown. Gray is actually rare, and light gray is very rare. So those are the rears, so gonna have to remember that, gray and light gray. So scrub hair are definitely not the easiest to find, but I have found some definite spots where you will find a lot of feed and rest zones for scrub hair. Now it's probably not the only spots you will find them, but that is where I have been finding quite a lot of scrub hair need zones. So right here on the screen guys, click right here to see part one of the Savannah Super Guide, and we will definitely see you guys in the next one. Take care guys.